27 years ago, it's just a mum of five children. Uh, but when somebody does wrong and your child's died for no reason, I think any mother, any father as well, you must remember the fathers who suffered as well, would do the same as what we I've done and the other 95 families have done. That great sense of loss will always be there. It never goes away. And every day you get up, and you always, always know that there's a person missing from your home. So the love that you have for that child, it makes you, it makes you fight for the truth. And just especially when you know from day one that was lie after lie after lie after lie they were given. And we knew the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth, the real truth. I'm angry the way the families were treated in the aftermath of that disaster. I'm angry the way they tried to blame our fans. You'll always be angry about that, but you try and also take positive from it as well. We've been in, on this journey for so, so long, so many years, 27 years, and to finally yesterday, to think, well, that part of that journey is completely over now. And what comes next is gonna be down. Obviously, it's the CPS and the uh, investigative team. Don't think we've always wanted to carry on. There's many a time we thought we need to give up. I can't go anymore. We're all tired. We've all done enough. It's the perseverance, it's the strength of other people's voices that gives you the strength then to carry on. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up hope. Keep knocking on people's doors. You tire them out. Don't let them tire you out. Don't let them divide and rule you. We're Liverpool people. We all stay together. We fight for each other. And our city st stuck with us from day one. They believed in us when we had other people didn't. And what I admire about the people of Merseyside is they are united when it comes to any form of injustice.